Welcome to today's video, beautiful lovelies. So in today's video, we are going over fragrance oils. As a beginner, where can you find them and who the reputable suppliers are? If that interests you, stay tuned. and I was able to get quite a few materials, not just my fragrance oils, but I was able to get wax through there, through candle makers that were just going out of business and it was the wax that I wanted to try and play around with. I was able to get that in at a, deep, at a reasonable price. I was able to get in a lot of tins and vessels at, from Facebook Marketplace. You know, I referenced really using your local market and Facebook marketplace in my five business tips video, which I'll link right here if you want to hear what my other business tips were. They're pretty good if I do say so myself. Definitely utilize that. That's a really good place to get a lot of different items, not just fragrance oil, but also just different materials for a cheaper price than buying them straight from the supplier. Outside of your local market and Facebook do stash groups, where on earth can you find them? And the next best place is directly from the supplier. Well, some of the main suppliers that I've found and used personally are Midwest Fragrance Co, Wood & Wick Co, Candle Science, Aztec Candle & Soap Supply, Lone Star, and I do use Brambleberry as well for supplies as well as some fragrance oils, specifically for soaps. I get a lot of my soap making supplies from Brambleberry as well as wholesale supplies. So those are just a few. There's definitely a lot more companies out there, but these are the ones that I can speak to because those are the ones that I've used and I have the most experience with. A lot of the suppliers do offer different sizes of the fragrance oil that do essentially work as sample for you. Um, so for example, Brambleberry, they have this trial size, which you can, which if you purchase a certain amount, I can't remember the amount, but if you purchase a certain amount, they'll offer you a trial size and you just kind of pick which one you want. And that's how I ended up with this guy. But they do also have two ounce sizes, which these are really, really good for trying it out on a couple of candles, right? Or a candle and maybe some soap. Since I do 
also work with soap and I'm getting into body care products as well. The two ounce size is really nice. Um, I know from Candle Science, they also have smaller sizes like this guy here. This one I believe is a four ounce sample. Yeah, this is two, so this would be a four ounce size, right? And then Midwest Fragrance Co., they do also have a sample size. I don't have any examples of that because um, I just went straight into a larger sizing. Um, but then you have your eight ounce size, which is pretty standard, as well as your 16 ounce size. And then from there, most suppliers do also have gallon size or a much bigger bulk sizing in like five, 10, 20 pound tubs, like giant tubs. Now what I will say about Wood & Wick is they are on the more expensive side when it comes to fragrance oil. So I do try to find any of my, of my Wood & Wick stuff from these stash groups or whenever they're on sale and then I'll buy all the fragrances that I need in bulk like fragrances as well as Wood & Wick supplies from them at that time so that I'm getting the most out of my money from them. Some of them I know also offer kits. Brambleberry does kits, Candle Science does kits, and Wood & Wick Co. does kits. So they do candle kits and soap kits, I know for sure. Like, I'll do some videos in the future of with their kits because I've gotten some of their kits in the past, specifically from Brambleberry and Wood & Wick Co. I've gotten kits from both of those companies and they're really fun to do. The Brambleberry is a especially fun. Wood & Wick Co, they just came out with their body care line, which is really cool. And I'm planning on checking out more of their product for that and playing around with it. They're actually doing a lot of support and they have some really good Facebook groups to interact with, with their product and to just answer questions all around about starting a business. So in this video, we've gone over what the main suppliers are, and the stash group. And in a future video, we'll go further into how to properly care for your fragrance oils, as well as how to properly mix and interact with them so your senses aren't super overwhelmed. So if you would like to see that video, then comment down below. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you like this content, please go ahead and hit that like button down below, boop that subscribe button, and hit the bell notification so that you'll be the first in the know. And if you really like my product and you want to stay the most up to date, then go ahead and check us out on Instagram as well as check out our website. On the website, you can subscribe to our email list. If you join the subscriber list, I'll be sending out information about the launch as well as pre-launch goodies for all of my subscribers, but you have to be on the list to do it. So go on over, check it out. The information is in the description box below. See you guys later. Bye.